Good morning and happy Friday. We are off for probably a one night backpacking trip. We were gonna do two, but it looks like it's gonna rain tomorrow. So we're gonna bail out, but we are going from Sabrina Lake to Blue Lake. And then from there, we're gonna do a day hike tomorrow to hopefully Midnight Lake. And here we are at the Sabrina Basin Trailhead. Woohoo! John Muir Wilderness in the Inyo National Forest. Here we go for a fun time. Say hi. Hi. So here's a good view of Sabrina Lake as we pass it by, not staying very long. It's actually a really decent sized lake. But on to blue. Woohoo! All right, so we have a little creek crossing. Okay, a little bit bigger than a little, but not too bad. And a pretty little waterfall. Look at that. I am not gonna film this creek crossing. All right, so we are gonna be going up and over this bit of switchbacks and up and over that little bit of saddle on the ridge. See you soon. So we have made it to Blue Lake. And as Lynn said, oh my gosh, it is beautiful. Look at that. I have to say, this is one of the most beautiful houses. Oh, yeah. All right, so here is home for the evening. We have got the beautiful lake by us. And uh, we can hear the wind, but you can also hear water running that's coming off the mountains, but we can't necessarily see it. But, I mean, I know that it's coming out of this area right there. But, uh, so this, this is Blue Lake. And we are at about 10,400. Um, and, uh, oh my gosh, it is spectacular. I am loving every minute of it. And, uh, yeah. We made it here. Uh, we are looking at about uh, 1562 elevation gain. We did a, from the car, not from the trailhead, uh, 4.15 miles already. So that's pretty darn good. And then we're going to be putting up our stuff. I am. Loving it. So, we have temporarily retreated to the tents because the bugs out here are ridiculous. They're swarming both gnats and mosquitoes and they're little biters. So we've cleaned up our camp. 
and each of us are going inside to eat our dinner. Sometimes you just have to shift things up to still make it work and be positive. In there, they're not biting. <laughs> Good morning. We're just starting our second day, our last day. Um, we're going up to Hungry Packer Lake. I just wanted to show you how beautiful it is out here. The sun is about to peek through. It's working on getting over the ridge. And it's just so beautiful and peaceful here. We're going to end up going home later on today because there is thunder and lightning storms aimed for 3 p.m. We're going to go finish the hike that we wanted to do and then we are going to... So, it's about 7.30. We are on the trail to Dingleberry Lake and Hungry Packer Lake and possibly uh, Moonlit Lake. We're just going to see how far we go before we figure we have to turn around so we can pack up camp and avoid the thunderstorms coming in at three. We don't want to be out here when thunderstorms are hitting. But excited to see more of this hike, more of the beautiful land on the Eastern Sierras. Look at this. I love being out here. Skeeters are a little brutal. You can go on. So we have a little river, well, creek crossing. There's a little waterfall going down. And a little pond out there with the skeets. Yay, skeets! Not. Nah. Hey, but again, to be tormented by skeets, but then to get to the beautiful areas is amazing. Have a great Saturday. Just look at this. Yeah, that's what I was going to do right, well, so because there's not really any other good crossing. So, this is the inlet from Hungry Packer Midnight and Moonlight. And then we get the joys of going through the water. And... This seems to be one of the best point crossings. So, I have to say, this is one of the longest water crossings I've done. You can see that there is still snow up on the mountains, just a little bit here and along the ridge there and up above there. <sighs> Look at that, way to go, Lynn. All right. Oh, wow. Look at this view. You cannot beat it. It's a very awe-inspiring view up when you get above 10K. There's a 
cute little waterfall like right there. So that is the direction we came from. Sailor Lake is down there. And then we found our way up, 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 to this beautiful little waterfall area. The peaks behind it. Look at how beautiful that is. Look at that. And just listen. You got the waterfall, the little bit of white water raft, running white water coming through the rocks. You've got the wind coming through. It's pretty awesome. Definitely couldn't ask for a better day. Uh, oh my gosh. We are getting closer and closer and it just gets more beautiful with each step but it also gets a little more cloudy so yeah we are definitely happy we decided to pack up tonight or today and go home next time we come up here we might go blue and then this little bit here is actually Sailor, not the first one we came to. So, who knows, we might stay at Sailor next time. I thought this was moonlit. I'm gonna double check later when we get down the mountain. But just look, it's beautiful. All right, woohoo. Here's our last little stretch. We. When we get up a little higher, you can see the lake and we are going over to it. So again, this last lake that we're going to is Hungry Packer Lake. I'm so excited that we got here. And just the landscape is beautiful. Absolutely stunning, stunning. So here we are at Hungry Packer Lake. This was our final destination for today. We're going to be heading back, packing up our overnight stuff and getting out before that storm comes in. That's supposed to be at 3. It's now like 11. So got a couple hours to get another four miles back and then pack everything up quickly get on the trail before we hit any showers. Look at how peaceful it is here. All the way around. Look at that. So just in case my battery dies and I can't uh, go all the way to the end this time, I want to let you know that uh, you have been watching Lori Party. Uh, this is Wanderlust 
on the trails. I hope you've been enjoying the little overnight backpacking trip up in the Eastern Sierras to Hungry Packer Lake to see all these beautiful peaks and just the mountains and the water and yeah, everything is amazing. Thank you for your time and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Have a great week. Remember, if you enjoy my adventures, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And after you do that, you can get the little bell, click on it, and you'll get notifications when I upload new videos. Thanks, and have a great day.